1987 was a crucial year for R&B. The year took R&B music to another level that even today forces us to rewind that year and live it again. Welcome to Major Key Unlimited. Today, we're looking at the era of 1987 in R&B. Without further ado, let's dive into the top R&B events that made that year 1987 memorable. Make sure to watch till the end. Written by David Frank and Mike Murphy of the band The System, Don't Disturb This Groove was exceptional. It's no surprise that being released as their first single from the album of the same name, the song managed to grab the number one position for a whole week on the US Billboard R&B singles chart. A few weeks later, the song also managed to hold the number four position on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Although their manager and record company refused to release this song as their first single, luckily, the band members managed to convince them and won. Instrumentalist Dave Frank also said that they spent three successive days experimenting on different ideas and options. They doubted themselves by thinking they might have wasted their time experimenting, but luckily, it turned out to be a great decision. Being known for pushing R&B music to the next level, Bobby Brown started his fantastic career in R&B with a group called New Edition. But due to some internal conflicts, he was removed from the group in 1985, citing unknown reasons. Not to forget, Bobby Brown also suffered from attention deficit disorder and an excessive addiction to consuming marijuana every day. Not ready to give up in any manner, Bobby Brown launched his first album called King of Stage in 1987 and the song Girlfriend marked its position as the number one song on the R&B charts for two consecutive weeks. Being a sibling of a living legend, there is no way Janet Jackson will leave any opportunity behind. Her song Let's Wait A While grabbed the second position on the Billboard Hot 100 chart, just a number below her brother. Maybe Janet was trying to respect her brother by holding the number two position intentionally. We never know. The song also topped the Hot R&B Songs chart and marked its position at the top by grabbing the number three position. As the song was focused on abstaining from any form of sexual intercourse between a couple until the time was right. After its release, it was immediately praised by the people as a meaningful message because of the AIDS crisis that was going on in the country in 1987. The song also landed in controversy when it was found that it had unbeatable similarities to the 1975 song called Daisy Jane by the band America. And while hearing the song on the radio in 1987, the manager of America quickly informed the band owner about the copyright violation elements present in the music. In the end, the creator of the original masterpiece, Jerry Beckley, agreed to an out of court settlement with Janet Jackson and thus ending their litigation. By creating his reputation as a background vocalist for famous artists, Luther Vandross pushed his career to a new level after releasing his fantastic song, Stop to Love, as the lead single from his album, Give Me the Reason, in 1987. The song became so famous that it grabbed the number one position as a single on the R&B chart since Never Too Much in 1981. Also, Stop to Love couldn't stop itself from grabbing the 15th position on the Billboard Hot 100. After performing for two and a half years in England, Watley decided to come to America to pursue her music career. After struggling for some period, she managed to grab a deal with MCA Records. A sense of insecurity or incompleteness was pushing her down. The emotion forced her to issue the first solo album called Jody Watley in 1987. What happened next was unimaginable even for her. The album's lead single, Looking For A New Love, brought her commercial breakthrough and became such a massive hit that it was labeled gold by the RIAA. But the song also ranked number one in the top R&B songs and sold more than four million copies worldwide. Being a multi-talented, multi-instrumentalist, Prince was not ready to accept watching others grabbing top positions when he deserves to be there. 
This made him write a song called Sino the Times on a Sunday when he felt he was writing the most thoughtful songs of his time. Amazingly, Prince alone performed the vocals and the instruments on the song, which is crazy. Sino the Times grabbed its position at 304 and 500 greatest songs of all time, but also landed in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame's 500 songs that managed to shape rock and roll culture. The song also topped in the R&B chart and grabbed the third position on the Billboard Hot 100 chart, very close to Michael Jackson. When Michael Jackson is in the mood, there is no stopping him, no matter how much critics try. After releasing his first single from his seventh album called Bad, I Just Can't Stop Loving You grabbed number one position again on the Billboard Hot 100 chart as well as in R&B singles in the same year. Jackson also took the initiative to launch the Spanish and French versions of the song. I Just Can't Stop Loving You was a duet song by Michael Jackson and Sida Garrett. Choosing Sida Garrett in the song was a spontaneous last minute decision by Jackson when Barbara Streisand and Whitney Houston decided to refuse the offer of acting as a duet on the song with Michael Jackson. The name does stand enough to break off any form of the prevailing reputation of singers, but there is always something profound that lies in the fantastic songs that Michael Jackson designed for us. And when we talk about one of his record-breaking songs in 1987, Michael Jackson himself revealed that this song was inspired by a real-life story in which a young man tried to break off the shackles of poverty by attending a private school, but he was killed when he returned home. After releasing the song with the help of Epic Records in 1987, Bad received positive reviews and grabbed the number one position at Billboard Hot 100 for two consecutive years. This gave Michael Jackson more edge into the R&B arena. The song became massively successful by grabbing the number one position in Ireland, Australia, France, Switzerland, the UK, and many more. The song was certified platinum by RIAA. A short movie was also created in the same year. Michael Jackson, The Magic Returns on CBS. The film showed Jackson and gangsters talking about the street gang and then dancing in a subway station. The critics appreciated the short film so much that they declared it as one of the most amazing videos of all time. And Jackson's outfit was considered a new symbol to the fashion industry. So these were some of the top R&B stars of 1987 that showed music has its unique world. Touched by love and experimented with unbeatable music, R&B will continue prospering with time. But what do you think? What was the best R&B song of 1987? Share your opinion in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss an upload. And you can enjoy the excellent content that we send your way. I'm Five Weeks Beats. And thanks for watching. Until next time.